a narrow cabin and a high cargo floor hamper the Jeep Compass utility, but its finished well Jeep tucks a sizable cabin into the Compass compact shape passengers will need to share close quarters, it's called compromise, people, but they won't emerge with permanent folds or creases they didn't bring to the party we give the Compass a point above average for its well finished interior but it could use better front seats and seems narrower than rivals it's worth a 6 on our comfort and quality scale. Read more about how we rate cars. On every compass, Jeep offers a driver seat with high adjustment you'll have to pay more for power driver assist or for a high adjustable passenger seat in any case, the seats have small bottom cushions and don't feel well padded they also have head restraints angled too far forward, one of the ways automakers aim for top crash scores the front seats sit close together, a legacy of the Compass status as a spin-off of the Petite Jeep Renegade the narrow cabin could put two big passengers in shoulder contact. The rear seats have good leg and head room, even with a panoramic roof installed, but they're narrow, two no three adults we know will fit at the same time in the Compass back seat the seats fold down to expand cargo space from its 27.2 cubic feet, right in line with the Compass big competition, but the cargo floor sits at 31.1 inches, higher than many of those rivals Jeep applies care to the Compass interior. Despite its $20,000-ish base price the dash on all models wear soft-touch plastic, and the cloth seats on base sport models feels durable and substantial. Mid-grade models blend cloth and synthetic material for a modern feel, and limiteds get leather. Even if it's an inexpensive variety, 